Hi, I'm Jim White, and this is one of a series of videos designed to introduce you to the basic functions of management. Today we're going to talk about staffing. Staffing is the art and science of getting the right person into the right job. The very first thing that you must do is understand the job you are trying to fill. The best tool for this is called a job analysis. A job analysis, properly done, will give you a list of job specifications. Job specifications are the things that the candidate absolutely must have in order to do this job well. Job specifications usually have numbers in them. For example, it will say you must have a four-year college degree in marketing or you must have five years of experience, or even you must be able to lift 50 pounds. If the candidate does not have even one of these specifications, they will not be able to do the job. Now, once you have your list of specifications, you must recruit a pool of candidates. Generally, recruiting is done on the web. Don't forget, you need to look at the social media sites of the candidates. The most complex part of staffing is screening. Almost everyone begins by using an application of some sort. Most often these are submitted electronically and are screened by a computer program that searches for keywords that are tied back to the job specifications. Once you have this process, you should then conduct a preliminary interview. An interview always gives you more information than the application. If testing is necessary, now's the time to do it. On jobs where specifications require technical skills, testing is a great screening device. Remember though, any test you give must be directly tied again to the job specifications and given to every candidate. Lawyers call this BFOQ, a bona fide occupational qualification. Now it's time for your big interview. This should always be conducted by the hiring manager. Prepare for it. Be ready. Review all of the information that you have on the candidate. Know what questions to ask and know what answers to expect. If after the first interview, you're still not certain about a candidate, it might be a good idea to get another manager to interview the candidate, get a second opinion. Better yet, let the people who the new hire is going to work with talk to him. At any rate, make your choice very carefully. Always remember, part of your next performance appraisal depends on how well this new hire does. Well, that about wraps up the session on staffing. I'm Jim White, and I'll see you later.